I'm Doug Basie, and this is my wife, Cindy. We've been members of Bethel for about 30 years. And we're Ryan and Tara Henriksen, and we've been members of Bethel for 13 years. In the last two videos, Bethel members have shared with us their relationship with God and explored living in response to God's love. Today, we would like to share with you giving in response to God's love. As Doug and I were discussing the topic of giving in response to God's love, we talked about how our parents were great examples of people who gave to others when there was a need. Because God loves us and has blessed us with everything we have, Doug and I feel a need to give back. We tried to set an example for our kids when they were young, and we see many Bethel members doing the same through things like the Rochester Mission Trips, and the children's offering during the service. Over the years, the ways in which we could give of our time has changed. We have always tried to, give, to find the best ways for us to be contributing members of the congregation. As parents of young children, we were active in the children and youth programs. As our children grew older and left home, we were able to become involved in other ways. Additionally, over the years, our ability to give of our resources has changed. Our goal is to tithe every year. We use Simply Giving as a way to make sure that our contributions are sent each month. As a family with three children, it's difficult for us to find time to give to all the Bethel projects and missions that we want to support. However, we know that by giving financially, we are able to help ensure that this church and all of its important missions can be accomplished. It's important to remember that even with the amazing amounts of time that our members do give, there is always a need for monetary gifts. And so because of God's love and gifts to us, we've been able to give more uh, monetarily to Bethel's mission and their purpose. Bethel is big and has many needs. No one person or family has the skill set, talents, time, or money to be able to do all the things that need to be done. One advantage to being a large church is that we have members with a variety of skills and talents. There are opportunities for members to use their skills and talents in various ways at Bethel. Everything from joining a woman's circle, to going on a construction mission trip organized by Larry Baumhoff, to playing in the bell choir, and helping out with the rummage or plant sales. All of these opportunities to serve take people and planning, but importantly, they also require funds. Bethel is a wonderful congregation full of great generosity. The display of giving and sharing is, is quite simply amazing. The, but the vast reach of this congregation, the vast reach of Bethel, wouldn't be possible with um, the collective giving of money. Uh, I believe that we all have various motivations and various reasons um, on how we give and what we give. I give, we give uh, as an act of worship. It's a way of us to uh, give in response to the gospel. I also believe that the more we give in life, the more we receive. But most importantly, I think that we give because we want to. Uh, it feels good to give from our heart, and it feels like such a great blessing uh, to give to others. When we think about this stewardship pledge, we think about how much good we can do through the church by giving of our monetary gifts in response to God's love. We hope that you will reflect on the blessings that God has given to each of you and consider how you best can help Bethel in its ministries. You could think of us as a team working together to show God's love. Mm -hmm.